Hi everyone, welcome to Straight From the Divine Tarot. We are Friday, February 23rd, 2024. I'm here to do a collective read for you guys. You know I don't use the signs and I don't use the genders and it's a timeless read, right? You can skip the intro. Hopefully you guys are going to have a beautiful weekend. We had a beautiful day today. Uh, I was outside, I loved it. I was out in the sunshine, I needed it. So hopefully uh, wherever you are it's going to be nice. It's going to get colder here, so I... I Took advantage of it today while I, while I could. Um, let's see what Spirit has, shall we? I did a couple of reads. They're really weird lately. <laughs> Getting a lot of weird reads. What's the, what's the message for today, please? If you wouldn't mind, please like, share, and subscribe, okay? If you haven't done so already. Thanks to the ones who have. Dreamwalker got that earlier, too. Dreams, the collective good and illusions. Okay, maybe your dreams are going to be coming true. Something to do with dreams. Something for the collective good. Somebody was casting illusions. Eight. Yeah, the strength, right? In tarot. Um, maybe somebody's afraid here. They're hiding behind somebody else. Or maybe it's a different persona. They're hiding behind a persona and or a profile. You have to pay the piper, I just heard. Ooh, that's the overarching energy. Diamond dreamer. Material wealth and true prosperity. Six. Making a decision here. That's the lovers in tarot. You used your higher wisdom. There could have been a third party. Trying to be you, because that's what the last read was. Somebody trying to impersonate you to get an inheritance. Or trying to impersonate you to make you look bad so you wouldn't get your inheritance. Take it as a blaze. Something about a pregnancy and a marriage. False marriage. Anyhow, this could be in the reverse. You parted ways with some karmics here and or there's a false contract floating around. It's all one-sided and people are going to get in trouble here. Material wealth and true prosperity. Lady of the gift, generosity, receiving, withholding. So you were very generous with these people, possibly your families, if it's an inheritance, or it could be anything else. Very generous, okay? Um, they were quick to receive whatever you gave, but they never ever gave you anything back, withholding. They're under judgment, 20. It also boils down to a two-year high priestess. There are a lot of lies and secrets going on. They could have been shit-talking you as well, maybe doing magic against you, but you're highly intuitive. You knew what was going on. You have the rare ability, possibly, to speak things into reality as well. Okay? Congratulations. You have a, a very rare gifts, I heard. The High Lord of Gratitude and Service, Selflessness, Humility, Conscious Action, Your High high Priestess. This is the High Lord. This is the High Lady. You might be coming into union with somebody that's equally yoked to you, spiritually speaking, and always speaking, okay? Um, finances, life, healing. Um good for you whoever you are you could be male female doesn't matter so let's see where we're going with this the dream walker eight you have integrity loyalty and honesty somebody didn't something to do with the house again 22 again the high priestess a lot of lies and secrets somebody could be mortgage fraud could be this inheritance like i said property stability of business you could be working from your home you're stable and secure this could be family growth something to do with family and a home there's concern here, 33, okay? Master number. Could be dealing with secret societies or covens or groups. Again, it's, it adds to a six, so there's six, six. Making a decision about this. Somebody's ascended. Somebody hasn't ascended. There's concern here over this property, this whatever it is, okay? Yeah, family room. I told you it's family. 21, it's over. Something's over. You could be working from home. Um, 21, that's online, right? That's the world card. But you're ending something. You're ending cycles to begin new ones. Lessons have been learned. Something to do with your family. You could be a mother. There could be a pregnancy. And or you're a divine feminine male or female. Okay. Male could be a divine feminine energy. Meaning that you're creative and you're artistic. And you have unconditional love. And through your pain you create new life. Uh, whether it's through your art. Or adventure. Humanitarianism. You know what I mean? Philanthropy. Something to do with your family. And a community of people, 39 is 12, tried to sacrifice you. You made sacrifices for these people. They never, ever paid you back. Not that you were looking for payback, but when you had a hard time, they were nowhere near you. Um, you let them go. You're seeing things from a new perspective. They could be getting arrested. Your ancestors are helping you. They're backing you up. You could be part of a community. Just say like for me, okay? My, my family, my chosen family is you. Okay, my my soul tribe, my soul team, my family. So maybe you're coming into a new family as well, soul tribe. We are more comfortable. Unexpected income, 27. There's an investigation. That's nine hermit. 
Okay, people's palms were getting greased. You see this man with the affluent man, all, you know, the ring and the, the suit, and this person's got dirty hands, frayed cuff here. So it's somebody that's getting paid off to do shit, okay? They might be coming towards you to, to offer you hush money to shut up because they did something they shouldn't have done. I'm picking up the inheritance thing again with your family because they know they're going to go to jail. So they're scrambling. And how are we going to get them to shut up? How are they going to... We're going to get them... You know what I picked up in the last read? And I got angry at the end, so I, I don't know if I'm going to post it. It's just probably a repeat of last the last reading. Um, they're in shit. They're in a lot of trouble, okay? They got somebody to try to Im imitate you, to impersonate you in a court of law or with these institutions to sign your name forge, blah, blah, blah. It's a fake marriage or something. I don't know. But they want you to play along with them to make sure that you don't get in trouble. You know what I mean? Go as yourself. And say, yeah, 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 I did this and I did that. No, no, no. I don't think so. Dreamwalker. Well, if you pay you X amount of dollars to do... Excuse me. The money you're paying me X amount of dollars to, for hush money is actually my fucking money. And it's a fucking small stipend compared to what you owe me, what you took. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Dreamwalker 8. <laughs> coins. Luck and money. Told you it's all about the coins. The property and money. A house. They sold a house, maybe? Didn't give you the money. They forced your signature. Bride, wife and engagement. I told you there's a false fucking marriage coming here. Somebody's very concerned. Envy, protection. I. Wow. They got some spell work going going against you. You were protected against it though. Witch, magic and curse. They were trying to take you out. They were trying to buy time in the courts with this in, in, inheritance long enough to take you out spiritually so nobody would know that they took you out. They committed murder. Or maybe this is what they did to the, the recipients of that wrote these wills or this will. They got taken out by magic. Someone's a snake. Desire and attraction. Somebody's wrapped around somebody, all right. Use sex to get to these people. Peace and serenity, dub. Now they want peace. Yeah, jealous and gossip. Yeah, you're peaceful. You're not a person. They could have said that you're, you use your sex to get your way. Once it, they want to, they're coming in with an olive branch. They want to make a truce here because they know they're coming into ch uh, trouble. They were jealous and they gossiped a lot, cat. And everybody's talking now. News and messages. Yeah, horse freedom and action. You're going to be taking action against these people. You were very strong. You have success coming, lion. These are pieces of shit. I'm sorry. Not sorry. You do pe people that like that? No. You don't. Ugh. And they expect you to, oh, play along. I'm going to go to jail if not. Aren't we family? Well, <clears throat> thought we were until you tried to kill me for money. <laughs> you know what I mean? Until you slandered my name all over the place and defamed me and tried to leave me for dead, try to steal my money and steal everything that's good and, you know, ridicule me and humiliate me. Nah. Dreamwalker 8, house 20, coins, luck and money. An apology. That that was in the reverse, eh? They don't want to apologize. They might, though, but it's not going to be heartfelt, is it? A true apology is change behavior and, and, and making good, returning what was stolen, uh, vindicating your name against all of this slander and, and defamation, paying for the damages they've caused you, the time wasted, the, the, the health, you know, like, they really wanted to, you to get sick. They wanted you gone. So they were attacking you with spell work. It's not pleasant. Um, they're going to have to make up for it. Victory, success. Okay. Congratulations. They're all narcissists. Narcissistic family. Okay. You're, there's a breakup here. There could be exes involved as well. It's friends. Low self-esteem. Discard. Narcissist. Hygiene. Investigation. Somebody's going in shock or in sh they're shook at the, the lengths these people went to harm you. And you were innocent. The truth is coming out. Congratulations. They were out of control. They're trying to control everything. Damage control. Slander and libel. What I tell you? Dope sicker withdrawals. Annoyed and frustrated. Examine. They have to get their heads examined. Secrets are revealed. They want forgiveness now. They were bitter. They're expecting you to be bitter. They want you to be bitter. They want you to hate. They don't want you to open up after this. They really want to hurt you. You're loyal. Oh, they have loyalty. It could be secret societies that are coven or something. Oh, we're loyal to that. We're not going to, yeah, tell the secrets. No, no, no. There's a nickname involved. Rejection, life insurance, long distance and travel. They're getting some karma. Sexy. They use sex to get their way. So, there's a stalker. Watch it, okay? They want to humiliate you. I was picking this up like two years ago. Mystery, mysterious and mystery. Um, 
and you're too intelligent for them. I was picking, just be careful. This is just for very few of you. They were even planning, and I don't know if they were planning it or just talking about it, but they were planning on essaying you to embarrass and disgrace you. Um, I know in my situation that the last narc I was with was hoping and planning to have me gang to humiliate me and to really hurt me. Yeah, he said it to my face. And he called me a useless, see you next Tuesday. And I looked at him going, yeah, okay, you think I'm useless. <laughs> let's find out who's useless. And let's find out who's going to get ganged, you know what, okay, where this person's going, yeah. Okay, I don't wish this on anybody, but you know what, what you wish on others, that's what's going to happen to you. Especially if you're high ranking. You think the divine's going to let them get away with that? No, no, no. The divine's going to say, oh, let's see how you take it. Dry sideways. Grab your ankles. Okay. They were, they were planning all kinds of really nasty things to, to do. I was picking that up like two years ago. Dreamwalker 8, house 20, coins, and apology. Oh, sorry. It was an accident that we defamed you and tried to take you out with spell work and stole from you. And defrauded you. Yeah. And did all everything else. Humiliated you. Just, you know what I mean? Tried to take everything that was yours away from you. Sorry, it was an accident. Yeah, yeah. We good now? Love you. <laughs> no. We're not good. Dreamwalker 8. House 20. Coins and apology. Why is this? Let me see where we're going with this. Oh, boy. Going through a dark night of the soul. That's how they wanted you. Too unstable to a, to to handle your affairs. The family must step in now. You're homeless. You're drunk. You're an addict. You're a hoe. Oh, yes. They paid probably a lot of fucking meth heads and tweakers out there, you know, to come in there and say, yeah, I didn't sleep with him or her. Yeah, yeah. They're nasty. They do the nastiest things. We love them. Yeah. Doctor documents, photos, video. <laughs> Some people might work for government, might work for military, might work for the authorities, courts, and they had a field day with you. Oh yes, no one's gonna figure it out. No one's gonna figure it out. We just need some time to get them out of here. Let the magic work. Where'd that magic go? Not to your intended victim. Right? A few people have already lost their lives. You want to keep going? Let's go. Thank you, Spirit. Queen of Pentacles. They wanted you unstable, male or female. Okay? But this is them. They were greedy and selfish. They were very jealous of you. Codependent and clingy. Very materialistic. I need the latest brands. Don't want to work, not because they can, it's because they're lazy. They're filthy. Overarching energy. That's over, okay? You could be online as well. This is over. Ending a cycle, beginning a new one. Lessons will be learned. You are totally protected. And guess what? The last read, first card up was the world card. So you're ending cycles to begin new ones. You could be traveling and or moving. You could be online as well. Very public. This could be a public scene, okay? Yep, you're manifesting something new. Congratulations. You are co-creating with the divine. You have everything you need for success, okay? You are very focused on what you need to do. As above, so below. So you're manifesting something new. You're very focused. You have you you hold the power. You're going to be taking some action against these people. See that reversal counter candle? We saw reversal in the um, in the other cards before too. So whatever they sent your way went right back to them. Okay. They tried to wrap a snake around you to have you bound, tied, whatever. But you're using that snake as a belt. Don't it look good? <laughs> Yep, yeah, you've stopped them. Somebody could have had a car accident as well. But you stopped them. They could have had their car repo. They can't travel. They can't move on. They can't overcome whatever it is that they, they sent you, but it went right back to them. They can't overcome this. This is out of control. Oh, dear. Uh, they're crying now because they're scared. Yeah. They're going to have to back that truck up. That's what I just heard. Okay, this is something that's very greedy, okay, very superficial, shallow, and selfish, emotionally manipulative, um, 
they're not in control of their emotions right now. Not loving, sweet, kind, or nurturing. Not like you. This could be the doppelganger. If they're a parent, male or female, doesn't matter. They're very neglectful. They, they only care about themselves, okay? Superficial. And they're scared or they're trying to intimidate you or they lost control of a the situation. They don't have any integrity, loyalty, or honesty. Uh, you've humiliated them, maybe. They're going to have to be, they've been humbled. So people are, start, this is a false contract, okay? Or there's an ending of a, co a collaboration. They're very lazy. They don't want to put the work in. They're very disrespectful. They wanted you alone, scared and alone crying oh isn't that nice they want you to 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 not have an open heart okay they don't want you loving anymore because they're not loving they want to stop everything good and kind and sweet in your world and they want you in fear they want to also to shut you up you're not going to shut up they're not as strong as you they've been disempowered okay and it scares them yep you're out in the public eye they want to shut you up they says so many things. They could have said this about you, that you're a bad mother, you're this, that, and the other. You're very manipulative. You're drunk. You're a drug addict on public record against you. Now they're burdened here because you're out in the public eye and or they said things on public record. They, they said it for attention. Now they're trying to hide what they've said. They're trying to backtrack, I just heard. Hiding and cloaking this. They're paranoid. They're worried because, yeah, shit's going to get real. Yeah. They're blocking this third party friendship, coven. There's been some, um, you blocked them, you overcame and persevered. They were celebrating way too early. They caused a lot of pain, I get it. But you've put that bandage on your forehead here and you're, you're continuing, okay? You got a lot more fight left in you, okay? So your guard is up. They're trying to hide and cloak that they went over, they, they, um, they stepped over the boundaries here, okay? They're trying to block you if you're out in the public eye. And they're paranoid. You overcame and persevered, though. You got enough oomph left in you to finish the deal. They started, you're finishing it. Not a wand. You're the wounded warrior coming home after battle, right? It's like wounded warrior, wounded warrior. So you're walking in, so just say, they people are going to see you as this, this wounded warrior, not this wounded warrior. This is how they wanted you to look. Scared, cowering. You know, just tired at the end of the rope. No. Nah. They're really burdened here. They're burdened. Because if you're out in the public eye somehow, some way, people aren't seeing you like, you know, at the end of the rope. Just ha have enough, you know. You're, you're overcoming a lot. I'm trying to hide the fact that, yeah. Somebody's paranoid here. They're going to court. They're trying to block you. Maybe this is a platform you have. Trying to block you on your platform. Trying to block... Um, this institution from reaching out to you and they're paranoid here you're highly spiritually ranked oh you pff, wow this is higher ops here this could be the divine this could be you you took back your power you you bossed up they weren't expecting that they were not expecting you to be highly spiritually ranked now they're paranoid and also speaking some truths here this could be lawyers could be professionals could be anybody speaking truth setting boundaries and cutting them the fuck out if you notice, the Queen of Swords, male or female, okay? She speaks the truth. She's very discerning and wise and very astute, okay? The clouds are down here, not around her head. She has a higher perception, okay? Um, she's very in, in, intuitive as well. Very articulate because of the sword that's sp is speaking. She could be a speaker. Yeah, you're cutting them out here. You, you're willing to hear them out. Let me hear what you have to say, but you're not going to suffer any fools. Okay, you're going to cut them down with your tongue, with the sword, whatever. You're not a fucking fool. You're not wasting time anymore. Okay, you're not going to be nice and coddle them anymore. It was a scam. They were doing magic against you and it was a scam. They were trying to swindle, right? Or maybe accuse you of swindling, accuse you of having uh, intimate, uh, casual hookups with people. This is a fucking love bomber. No, you protected yourself or they're trying to protect themselves now because it's... It's a scam, right? People are coming after you. But you you saw what they were doing. They were trying to attack you with spell work. You had the advantage, okay? You're divinely protected, okay? The truth is out. They're trying to block the truth from coming out. Well, that's just too bad, Mr. Scammer, Miss Scammer. Because that means they're going to be left out in the cold at a lack of loss, okay? Poverty. Now, I know. I told certain people that I'm dealing with. When all is said and done, it's degradation and poverty for the rest of their life. For lifetimes, not just this lifetime, okay? It's just part of the karma. And they still did it. 
they still didn't want to listen. They're, they have to face their fears here, okay? Because they're going to hit poverty. They didn't mind putting you in poverty, though, did they? Taking away what was yours. You didn't deserve this. Yeah, it's all co competition, conflict, fighting, jealousy, rivalry, chaos, right? Drama. Drama starters. 5-5, five, five, by the way. That means expect the unexpected. It's going to happen quickly. All coming after one person for no reason at all. Yeah. False contracts here. Parting away with kar uh, karmics. Okay. Poor decision making. It's all one-sided and there's car consequences. They're ending a third-party situation, a collaboration, false contract. People are seeing through the illusions now, okay? Running out of options, don't have a choice. It's a tower. Yep. They're in debt. They're born from Peter to pay Paul. This wasn't fair. They wanted you unstable. Guess what? It's not you that's going to be unstable, okay? The lid's being blown wide off of this. Something was built on a false foundation, giving off a false sense of security and false impressions. And the universe is doing it. It's going to happen quickly. Okay, it's a shift. It's a redirect. Okay, putting these people where they belong in their place and putting you where you belong. Okay, yeah, they're going to try to apologize to lessen the load. I don't think so. Was the um, tower here, please? Like uh, uh, an apology is going to do that? Yeah, this is the inheritance. This is his family. It's going to happen quick. They're not sorry. See, they turned back around again. Uh, they wanted you left out, rejected, abandoned. This is emotional, having an emotional outburst, emotionally manipulative, no new beginnings. They didn't want you to have new beginnings. They knew you would have new beginnings if you had this money. You'd be doing something totally different. They want access to you. They want to, yeah, maybe use you for your energy. But this is somebody that's very immature and insincere. And they're stewing. Okay, there's there's two and they know what's coming. There's proof and evidence. They know what's coming. They they underestimated you. Why didn't I invest in them just a little bit? You know what I mean? <laughs> Somebody's gonna be uh, rejected, and it's not you. I mean, it could very well be you. You're highly intuitive. Um, you you remained emotionally balanced. Could be doing tarot, male or female doesn't matter, but I'm I'm picking up somebody's gathering some information here. If you do, if you are doing tarot, this could be you. You never know. Yeah, fall from grace. They're gonna be this person's gonna fall from grace here. They committed an injustice against you, multiple injustices, and they got a lot of people involved. They paid people to do this. They were very satisfied doing this. They wanted you to fall on your face, not have any any personal achievement or success. There's an injustice. And they're watching to see if it's taken hold. They don't want you having any love, no emotional fulfillment or support, no wish fulfillment either. They watch you like this, nine of swords in reverse, but no, instead you're like this, very calm, peaceful, because you're you're highly in tuned here, okay? You, did, you have a direct connection with swords. You, you knew, okay? You know. Now we got to balance this out. Yeah, now they're stuck. They wanted you stuck struggling. No, it's them. Tried to sacrifice you, possibly, spiritually speaking. They caused a lot of problems here. This is not wish fulfillment. They scapegoated you. Wasting time, energy, money <clears throat> by lying, spreading rumor, gossip, and slander. They were petty and cruel. They were bullies. They could be um, gang stalking you, cyber bullying you, stalking you for sure. Um, a lot of abuse here. Family. Not happy. A family's breaking up or a group's breaking up. Yep, they wanted life luxury off your back. They wanted you to seem unstable. That's why they were doing this. And they partnered up to do that. They were codependent, clingy, very superficial and selfish. Very insecure. Or this is what they said about you. Co you know, this is a crime that was committed against you. You're the empress. They can never be you. Yep, you're a star. Divinely protected in your north node. Divine intervention. You're healed. You're a healer. You're very balanced. You bring ins inspiration. What you take out of the world, you pour back in, right? Um, you could be out in the public eye, but your wishes are being granted here. There's a lot of faith and prayer, and they're angry. They're angry. They brought others into danger. They committed crimes against you, and like I said, they abused you, and they were reckless about it, okay? They could be praying right now, believe that or not. No. Yeah. They were plotting and planning against you, trying to block you. I think they blocked themselves here, okay? They're angry that you've turned your back on them, finally. 
After all of this, your ships are coming in. They're not. Pro they're not going to be part of it. That's just too bad. Um, they were trying to also give off an impression that you were involved with vice or corruption of some sort, or you knew people who were. You're painting a really bad picture of you, but you've turned your back on these yahoos. Okay, you're moving forward. You're. Yeah, they're grieving and regretting parting ways. They're crying over what they lost. Your your ships are coming in. They're not going to partake in it. Yeah, they're, they're regretting walking away from you. Uh, or they're regretting you having you walk away from them. I don't know. They could be far from home. There's no emotional fulfillment or happiness here, okay? You're you're in search of your ninth and tenth cup. They're they're facing the unknown. They have to walk away from all of this because they lied. They know they lied. They threw rocks and hit hands. They're under judgment. Wow. You knew. You probably canceled them at one point. Walk away. Stop doing what you're doing. They wouldn't. They wouldn't listen. It's not gonna turn out too pretty. They wouldn't listen. Oh, how would they know we're doing magic? How would they know what we're doing? We've got people in place here. Yeah, we've greased some palms. We've got it all figured out, did you? You're not God, are you? God saw it, heard it all. <clears throat> oh, let's end this case. Yep, walking away. It's all because you walked away from a past partner. That's why they jumped on the bandwagon and or a friend. That's why they jumped on the bag bandwagon and or family members that really weren't there to... to to help you or, or they were there to hinder you so yeah they were holding you back they forged your signature they impersonated you like i said they felt entitled and they were they were very arrogant aggressive uh a bully okay and you, you spoke your truth and you let them go right and this is all gold digger clout chaser you see it for what it is okay this has changed they're getting some karma you're getting your dharma this isn't they wanted to embarrass and disgrace you because you let them go so now they're caught they have to come clean yep you're stable and secure yep this is, you have power. This is new beginnings for you, okay? Growth and expansion. Look at the divines giving you this Ace of Wands and this Ace of Pentacles. They wanted everything that was yours, but it's they can't take it, okay? You're coming into it. Male or female, doesn't matter. You have integrity, loyalty, and honesty, and you're going to be a good steward with this money, and they know it, okay? I think you're, uh, whoever left it to you, you knew you'd be a good steward. They were just, they were getting paid. They said you were getting paid for uh, selling your, you know, services if you know what i'm saying that's how you're supporting yourself you're really going to town okay but guess what who was selling yeah they were still celebrating this they were having fun they were somebody else was paying for us you weren't or you weren't getting paid somebody else was getting paid for us there's misinformation here they try to traumatize you they were greedy and selfish okay very jealous of you reckless careless and foolish devil energy they had the codependency issues they said all of this about you and this is what this family these people that went up against you were doing themselves so we're going to park the shame where it belongs, not in your backyard, but in theirs, okay? At their feet, not at yours. Dreamwalker, dreams, the collective good and illusions, yeah, it's not going to take. Remember, an eight is an infinity symbol on its side, right? What you put out is what you get. They're getting karma. They were under false profiles, trying to be somebody they're not. They were trying to be you. They can never be you. You have too much integrity, loyalty, and honesty here. Too much strength and courage. You have the might of God behind you. Yeah, they're scared now. Diamond dream and material wealth and true prosperity. This is not true prosperity, stealing from people, okay? Getting into relationships, get, you know, blackmailing, bribing, cover up, trying to take people out with spell work. Yeah, that's not true prosperity. That's not true wealth. You can't hold on to it. Conjuring shit up. Well, guess where that went? It's not where the intended victim is. Whatever you conjured up, it's in your home, okay? Have fun with that, by the way. So, yeah, they're concerned. 33. Somebody's going to get the third degree. Uh, this is maybe some secret societies involved and I'm not putting down all secret societies. There's a faction of secret society people that go rogue. They do that to give your whole thing a bad name. Okay. Same with covens, same with whatever. Okay. So somebody's very concerned about this home, about your stability. Uh, they're under judgment. They damn well know it. They know you're highly intuitive as well. And you do have a connection with source and they're worried now. Because you, you're an ascendant, maybe you're an ascended master, or the ascended masters are helping you. They they know that you're stable and secure, and they know this is not going to hold water in a court of law. So it's all about luck and money, coins. They have to do something. There's a wife or an engagement. Something's going on here. Somebody wants to cash in on your money, and they're not you. There's a false, phony marriage, fa false, phony death as well. There's a lot of false and phony documentation here, okay? Victory and success, success is coming towards you. Um, there might be apologies coming through. It might not be. I don't know. Um, it's up to you what you do with that. They're all narcissistic, though, whoever you're dealing with. 
surprise epiphany. They're going to get a, a huge surprise. Yep, they're spying on you. Uh, there's also illegal spying going on. Theft. And they're playing games. Illegal spying, theft, playing games, planning all kinds of rotten, horrible things to do to you with certain people of, you know, the underbelly of your society, of your community, plotting and planning to do you real dirty. But you were protected through it all, thank God. Okay? You completely covered. Thank God for the angels. Thank God for your ancestors. Thank God for God. These people aren't covered, though. They went and barked up the wrong tree. Okay? And yes, you went through a lot. You have, you've had to do a lot of healing, too. And my heart goes out to you. Honestly, I know. I, I'm there, too. Okay? The worst things that they could have done and said about you, they didn't. Or tried to. You know what I mean? With the, yeah, I'm not going to go there. Yep, they're wishing here. Your wishes are going to be granted. 19, truth and clarity. They're being exposed. Okay? You're going to be happy, healthy, wealthy, and wise after this. It's also Destiny 1 and 9. It's a Wheel of Fortune. It's on your side. Universe is, they're going to jail. They are trapped. They tried to trap you. Ask not why the cage bird sings. You felt caged while this was happening. You know, you couldn't go out. You didn't trust anybody. You know, you were in isolation. You needed that, though. You kept your heart open, okay? You kept your heart open. Another 10, okay? This is destiny, fate. You're an honest person, okay? You're, uh, again, strength and courage. Your strength is because you're honest and you're courageous and you didn't back down. You have the might of God behind you, like I said. They're going to jail. They wanted you trapped, feeling trapped, maybe to unalive yourself, delete yourself. So that way their hands are clean, their hands are not clean. Okay, whatever they wanted for you is going to happen to them. I don't wish it. It's just what they brought into reality, right? They have no one to blame but themselves. Okay. My dear one, I hear your prayers. I know your heart and I know what is good for your high... Good, pardon me. I know... What is for your highest good? Dreams do come true. Make sure your dream serves your highest purpose. And we did see that for the greater good, right? Dreams, the collective good. Um, dreams do come true. Make sure your dream serves your highest purpose and does not take away from another. Be careful what you wish for. Remember the coins tossed in a wishing well. For every wish, there is a price to be paid. I'm telling you, these people are going to get it. Are you ready to spend the time and energy that your, your granted wish will require? Now is the time your wish will be fulfilled. So... For you, it's something like, you know, you're going to get this money and then some because you're going to be suing people. Are you prepared to go? You know, maybe it's going to be the paper, your community might even go national. Who knows? Are you prepared to to deal with money, ma money managers to pay these taxes on the money? So you're going to have to elevate and, you know, maybe you're not very familiar with the ins and out of money. So you're going to have to learn. So, yeah, it's it's. Don't worry, it's good problems to have. Just don't let it get to you, get to your head. Don't, um, you know that certain people are going to want into your life because of money, right? You don't know who to trust. But I think you've got this covered. You have the divine backing you, okay? But it's, it's going to take a while to get used to this, okay? So do, um, do you sense that you cannot do what you really want to do because others have expectations of you that you may not be able to fulfill? Do you feel as if you will never get what you want or go where you want to go? Have patience, for truly you are in a temporary prison that, exi that exists in your mind. Your circumstances, no matter what they are, will change, and you will be free to experience the life you wish to lead. In these times, dreaming is the best antidote, and of course, patience. Consider the story of the half-raven boy trapped in conflict until he finally follows his heart. Trust in me, for I will show you when the cage doors open so that you can fly free. And also wishing and daydreaming is part of manifestation. 34 even when I said that. Um, and it's 34, that's weird. But when you dream and you, in detail, how you want your future to look, your dreams, your wishes to look, that helps the manifestation come into you. Okay, so 10. Love. Choosing this symbol is a powerful sign that love in all forms is in your life now. There is a, a responsibility to, to this as well. I can't even talk. There is a responsibility to this also. You must give love freely without conditions and love others because your heart is open. There's something else here to consider. Love can be a confusing force too and can sometimes ask a sacrifice of you. If your heart is aching and feels like it's broken, know that love has a greater love for you later. No matter where you are in your life right now, love has come to guide you into an important experience. Trust in love. Yes, 
we get our heart broken. But know that this is part of your destiny. Okay? Um, all that you thought was being withheld from you, denied you, you will get. You just got to go through the motion here. You just got to get through this. Okay? Um, and then if you're looking for love, you'll find it. If you're not looking for love, whatever. You know, it's up to you. Okay, angels, how are we ending this? Um, it's up to you, okay? But if it is, I mean, we often say, I've said it before in the past, I'll never, I don't want to be in love. I don't, I don't want another relationship. And I, you know, it's all part of the, the plan, the grand scheme of things, maybe. It helps us elevate, doesn't it? Angels, how are we ending this, please? But always, always, always love yourself first. Um, these people, this family, narcissistic family, always place themselves first. You know, oh, you, you sounds like you're the only empath. So you're always pl placed last. And maybe that's what you were used to your whole life, putting yourself last. It's time to put yourself first now, okay? And no, it's not selfish. How are we ending this, please, angels? Thank you. Strength. Again, eight. you got a lot of strength here. 16 is the tower. It's all coming down, okay? How come he, uh, the raising God, he's raising this down to the ground. It's a shift. It's going to happen quick. Get ready. Loyalty. Delivery from those who seek to oppress and brings victory. They were trying to oppress you, trying to keep you quiet, trying to disappear you, if you know what I'm saying. Three of Swords. They're heartbroken. Rehael. 30, 39. That's 12. So they're stuck. They're trapped. They wanted you trapped, stuck, struggling, wasting your time. The quickly forgiving God. Love and submission cures illness, influences paternal love, and gives long life. You're going to have a long life. Gonna have a lot of time to get that life, that living in. You know what I mean? That they denied you. Knight of Pentacles. This is um, taking accountability, right? They thought they slowed you down, but we're always where we're where we're supposed to be at any given time. Leela Hell. Six decisions. You used your higher wisdom. You could be going into a higher level soulmate connection, a contract, as if you will. Uh, the praiseworthy God. Light of understanding acquires knowledge and cures illness. So if you've got any illness, if you, um. If this affected you, your health in any way, and I'm sure it did in one way or another, you're going to be okay. Okay? The world's over. You could be out in the public eye or the world's in the palm of your hand. It's, you know, the world is your oyster. Damabia, 65, 11 is justice. God, the source of wisdom. You could be traveling, maybe. Fountain of wisdom gives success in all ventures. And judgment. Wow, you made some good judgment calls. They're under divine judgment. Mamiya, 52, 7. You're going to be traveling. You're going to be moving for sure. A decision is going to be made, whether you're going to make it or higher ups or the divine. Take it as applies. Somebody wants a new, it's a new lease, lease on life. I just heard. That's wonderful. Emma Mia, a new lease on life. You're going to be traveling. You're going to be happy here. God hidden in darkness. Atonement of errors destroys the power of enemies and humiliates them. So they wanted to humiliate you. Guess what? It's the humiliations at their feet. Let them deal with it. God heard all, saw all, and he is working on that. They were holding back from you, okay? Again, another six. God liberating the oppressed. Self-atonement, cures mental illness, deliverance from persecution. So they tried to persecute you. They led a crusade, a hate campaign up against you. They got so many people involved, right? Guess what? They're trying to get away right now. Now nah, the angel's going, you're not going fucking nowhere. You come back here. You're mine. <laughs> Um, so it looks very, very good for you. I'm sorry you went through that. I can commiserate if uh, one day maybe we should start some sort of podcast and talk about the stuff that we've gone through, the ridiculousness of it, and how we got through it for others to help them. Okay, it's not an easy, especially what they expected you to do is say they're doing magic on me, they're doing this, that, the other thing, so you look crazy. Do you understand what I'm saying? But you didn't take that route. You didn't do what they expected you to do. You did it differently because you were a, you were very obedient. You you obeyed God. God said, "Do it." Was that this read or the last read? Oh, it was the last read. Anyways, you obeyed God. You did exactly the way they wanted you to do it, and you were very patient because you knew the end result. Okay, um, they told you how it was going to turn out. You just didn't know how it was going to happen. You know what I mean? The in between what you don't need to know type of thing. That's how God works. And they work very hard on your behalf. And look at the end result. So congratulations. I'm sending you lots of love. Please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care.